I don't know how he's gonna do it. But let's see. Yeah, look at that. That's how he does it. Let's go. Hey! I got one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Hello, taxi? No. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> another day in Thailand, another bus station. What's going on guys? Today I'm here in Patani. I am actually headed to the city of Naratiwat. I am currently at the Patani bus terminal. And I need to go and buy a ticket so I can take a bus over to Naratiwat as we go through this journey in the south of Thailand, guys. It's been amazing. I wanted to explore these regions that honestly you don't see a lot. You're not gonna see this uh, region of Thailand a lot in many travel vlogs. So I was like, let me cover this region. Also being here during the Ramadan and Eid time is amazing because it is a majority Muslim area. So it's been quite nice. If you've been watching my videos, thank you so much. But let's go and buy a ticket. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. So, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ticket. Uh, uh, Narati what? Yes. <laughs> so I came here before trying to figure out how to get here. And I figured it out. So they already know who I am. They already know where I'm going. But Samsa. Right, Samsa? Samsa? So it's 130 baht for a, for a ticket to Narati what? I don't know where I have to go, but it's not a big station as you can see. It's pretty small. So yeah, here's the ticket. Let's go. Hello. Hi again. How are you? Uh, which number is uh, Naratiwat? Oh, okay. This lady helped me out a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How long is the trip from here to Naratiwat? How many hours? Um, two. Two hours. Oh, okay. Not too bad. So, so they have a few places. You can even go to they got Pattaya. Huh? They wait for you. Okay. Ah, okay. Naratiwat. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. You What's your name? Sa. Sa. Thank you so much. You helped me so much. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can Okay. Uh, what time is it? 1 1 30, huh? Uh, 1 Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Cap on cap. So guys, we have a goal here at Meyer Travels which we're trying to hit. So I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of July 2024. I know there's a lot of you out there who support me, watch my videos, but there's a lot of you who support me but haven't hit the subscribe button yet. It doesn't cost you anything and it means so much to me. This is my goal to get to 100K by July 2024. Let's do our best to get there. I know my community is strong. I know we can get there. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. I appreciate all and love you all. All right guys, so we're gonna go inside the bus. I just wanna show you what it looks like. So yeah, 130 baht, by the way, is like $4. And you get this nice AC bus. So I think I can sit maybe in the front here. Okay. Ready, Okay. So as you can see, pretty fancy. Lots of speakers. The AC works well. Ah, okay. Everything is working. So we're gonna head over to Naratiwa. Alright guys, we have arrived to Naratiwat. I am here at the bus terminal and I have to go to my hotel and check in and drop my bags. 
and I have no idea how I'm gonna get there because there seems to be absolutely no taxis here. But here we are at the Naratiwat bus terminal. What is going on my beautiful people? Just a quick interruption. I wanted to let you guys know I have started a Patreon. You can click the link below, patreon.com slash Meyer Travels. We are going to be building a community with exclusive access to lives, bonus content, and just overall discussion and building this community of true Meyer Travels fans. I look forward to seeing you guys there. This is a great way to support me but also get access to anything that I'm not going to be putting on YouTube. This is for the real fans. Make sure you guys head over to patreon.com slash Meyer Travels. Also, for all of you who watch my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please just hit the subscribe button. We are trying to get to 100K before July 2024. And that is the goal here at Meyer Travels. So please guys, help me do that. And I'll see you guys over at Patreon. Let me see if somebody from here can take me to... But the problem is I have my bag. So how are we going to do this? Let's see. Kawarika. Kawarika. Moto? Moto, Moto. Moto, Moto. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, moto? Moto, moto. Uh. Taxi, taxi. Uh, hotel. Hotel? Uh, yeah. Hotel, mana do? Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Hotel. Mana? This one. Oh, how do I know? Ah, Okay. How much? How much? How much money? Empyrean. Huh? Empyrean. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay. This your bird? <laughs> bird, bird. Bird, bird. Oh. oh. Look at this one. Look at this beautiful bird. He has. Okay, you. Okay, I come. I have bag. Ah, bag. Yeah. Okay? All right, guys, so I have to get on the back of a bike with this bag. The things I do to travel, man. I wonder why. I wonder why. This. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to do it. But let's see. Ah, look at that. That's how he does it. Let's go. Ready. Let's go. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Uh, how much baht? Hasib, Hasib baht? Hasib baht. Hasib baht. 50 baht. 50 baht to go to the hotel. That's like, what? Uh, dollar? Dollar and 10 cents. Well, let's go. To the Imperial Hotel here in Naratiwat. This is where I'll be staying for the next two days. There's not many choices of hotels, but this one is quite nice and very uh, elegant and classy, as you can see. So let's check in and then I'll show you guys what the room looks like. Salam, salam alaikum. Uh, check in? Yeah, Agoda. Look at this. I didn't even know they had a pool. I just booked the only hotel that I saw. But look at this. They got quite a nice pool. Not bad. Little courtyard. The lounge area. This is like a classic hotel. 
You can tell they haven't updated it much. Feels like I just brought got brought back into the 90s. <laughs> Here we are. Ooh, it's a big room. But yeah, very classic. <laughs> Look at this. It's, it's kind of cool. Kind of like the feeling. I feel like I'm a, a mob boss from the 90s, you know, like a Tony Sopranos coming into this hotel. Or like a, a, a you know, Al Pacino Scarface, you know, like give me that luxury. But it's quite nice actually. I mean, central AC, hopefully it works well, because the last hotel, the AC didn't work well. Got the TV that I never use, desk, which is great, I do use this, but this chair does not look very comfortable. But that's all right, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, the bed is good, the bed is good. That's what needs to be comfortable. The bed, here is the view of the beautiful city of Naratiwat. Now, one thing I'll say about this city compared to Patani, it definitely has like an older vibe as I was driving through. And we are very close to Malaysia, so you can definitely feel the Malaysian influence here. The people speak Malaysian, a lot of the businesses, the stuff is only written in Malaysian. Yeah, we're pretty much in Malaysia, it feels like, but we're still in Thailand. And... Here is what the bathroom looks like. Yeah, very old school, but clean. Everything is pretty clean, you know? And I only played a whopping $20 a night for this hotel. Amazing. Now, I gotta go out, find a place to rent a scooter, and then explore Naratiwat for today. Let's go. All right, guys, so I just called one scooter agency, seeing if I could rent one, but unfortunately, um, they did not have the small scooters. They only had big motorbikes and they're charging a lot of money. So I'm just gonna have to walk for a bit. Maybe we'll find one along the way. But I figured, why not take a walk? When you first get to a city, it's always nice to kind of walk around and soak everything in. Look at these old, unkempt buildings here. This definitely reminds me of Malaysia, like, for sure. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs> Look at this beautiful masjid right here. I think this is the biggest, might be the biggest mosque in uh, Naratiwat. Maybe I'll stop in later. It's called Masjid Al Jumia, Masjid Raja Naratiwat. Amazing. Still no success finding a place to rent a motorbike. But, and it's really hot, guys. It's really hot. Walking is not ideal when you're in Thailand or Malaysia or anywhere in Southeast Asia at this time of the year, especially when the sun is beating right on you. Look at this. I found some shop here. I don't know if it's like a vintage shop. Hello. Sawadika. Sawadika. I think this is like a vintage shop. I thought it was a vintage shop, but everything looks pretty new. Ah, this is like some Buddha stuff. Interesting. Oh, this is like some old, old Buddhas. This one, old? Long time? This one? How old? Which year? Long time? Before? I don't think he has any idea, but look, got some really beautiful things here. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Man, this walking in the sun has got me thirsty. I need a nice cold water. Hello, kitty. Hello, baby. Hello, so cute. How are you? Uh, Nam? Uh. Nam, 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 Nam. Huh? 
Ha sim. Ha ba. Ha? 5 ba. Ha ba. 5 ba. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye kitty. <laughs> yeah, one thing that really stands out to me about this city is like how quiet it is. It's so quiet even in the middle of a day, weekday. Patani was definitely more busy than this city. Uh, it's actually a really nice. Nice vibe. Has an old old school vibe, but it's quite nice. Little mango. Hmm. What is this? She got some food smoothies. So over here, I see some big like pagoda. I guess like a Buddhist pagoda. Let's go check it out. So I just saw a mosque. Now look at this. I see Naratiwat Associated Church. So you can definitely see the city has some religious diversity. Although I think the Muslims are in majority here. There's definitely some diversity. Look at these old houses, man. Assalamu alaikum. Look at this. I just met a brother from Yemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kayfa halukum? Kayfa halak? Sana? Uh, ib. Ib. Naam. Uh, uh, how many years in, in, uh, in uh, Thailand? 20 years. MashaAllah. My 20... wife from Fatani. Fatani? Yes. Ah, yesterday, I, I Fatani. Oh. Fatani, very nice. MashaAllah. Many, Masha many, Masha many Muslim. MashaAllah. Naratiwat also, many Muslim. Many Muslim, yes. Uh, 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 most, mostly Muslim. Muslim, Muslim. Ah, ah very and, nice. Uh, you from? I'm Pakistani. Pakistani. Yeah, yeah. Kis ala kasi? Ah, of course. Urdu hati hai. MashaAllah. This guy is here. Sikai, sikai. Yeah, MashaAllah. Tora, tora. Tora, tora. Acha. Wow, he speaks a little bit of Urdu. Meri family, Islam. Islamabad से इस्लामाबाद से उर्दू बोल सकते हैं अच्छा माशाल्लाह मुझे अरबी नहीं आती लेकिन आपको उर्दू आती है माशाल्लाह थैंक यू ब्रदर सलाम अलैकुम आपका नाम क्या है Salahuddin. Salahuddin, yeah. mashallah. He mashallah. speaks English, he speaks Arabic, no. he speaks Urdu. Little, English, little, little, Urdu, Bulgaria. Bulgaria? Ah, no, you both, both zabardas, zabardas, Thank you, brother. What is the name of this? This is a Buddhist guy. Buddhist, Buddhist. What is the name of this? Narati Wat. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll see. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, he speaks Urdu. That's amazing, man. You know, the world is really small the more you travel. It's quite amazing. So we just saw a church, we saw a mosque, and now look at this, we see a Buddhist temple. Like I said, the religious diversity here is uh, very apparent right from the get. What a beautiful structure. So I'm not sure the name of this uh, stupa or temple or whatever you want to call it it's definitely a buddhist monastery but i can't get inside i think so i was just showing you this view because let me see if i can get inside but there's like barbed wire and gates so i don't think it's open to the public but very beautiful structure man amazing so far the religious uh temples mosques churches all of them are really beautiful here i really like the vibe of this city it's quite quiet peaceful to be honest with you as i get older I prefer cities like this, you know, quiet. It has things that you need, everything you need, but it's just quiet. As I was walking, I see this lady just cooking up some food over here. Right on the street, there's a stand and it's halal as well, which is nice. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, um, chicken, I am? I am uh, kapal. I am? Yeah, I am kapal. All right. I'm gonna try some chicken kapal from her. Uh, makan chini, okay? Okay. 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 <laughs> so she's about to whip it up. Look at this. She's just whipping things up fresh here. Over. Right on the side of the road, next to the. Municipal oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right next to the Naratiwat Municipality Building is this lady. This is the name of her restaurant. Uh, Nama restaurant? Kada uh, Nama? Apa Nama? Kada. Kada? Ah, you with the boss. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Alright guys, she's gonna whip out. I haven't eaten yet for the day, so I'm pretty hungry. 
this is like a late lunch early dinner whatever you want to call it but figured might as well it's only like i think 50 maximum 50 baht maybe 35 maybe 40 which is literally no more than a dollar and 50 cents she's got her whole little stand here there's some other people that they're not here yet but they should be coming <laughs> and here it is guys pop that yoke a classic pad kapal it's like a holy basil with chicken and some red chilies a little bit of chives white onions let's see bismillah Aloy, it's a dab. It's very good. Amazing, guys. This is the beautiful thing about Thailand, Southeast Asia. Anywhere, man, you stop off, get one dollar road food, and look how fresh it is. She's literally cutting the vegetables in front of you, making the rice, doing everything fresh. I mean, this is why I never want to leave this place. It's amazing. I literally finished that in two minutes. Can't eat the red chilies or I will die. But that was absolutely amazing. If you're ever in Naratiwat, come to this lady. She's so nice. And she will take care of you and give you some fresh food. Uh, how much? Sisip? Uh, 40 something. Thank you. Okay, so thank you. Uh, you tell uh, your restaurant. Close to? Padung Aram. So guys, come support. Thank you. Very much. And Kapong uh, Kap. Thank you. So I'm trying to make my way over to the beach, but on the way, I'm just showing you whatever I see. Oh, look at this. The big market. A durian plant. Assalamu alaikum. Random durian. They're selling different kinds of fruit plants you can buy. This is like a melon. Interesting. Look at this. And this. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. He doesn't talk. Assalamu alaikum. Ah, he doesn't talk. Sometimes they talk, but that one doesn't talk. This is a whole shop full of birds. Ooh. Hello. Beautiful. Look at this. They got rabbits here too. They're all sleeping. It's like a big pet store in the middle of this market. Fish. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, what's this? Squirrel. And it's a He's dead? And he's Sleeping? He's still oh, oh, I thought he was dead. He looks like he's dead. <laughs> what's this? Oh it's, oh, it's a quail. I never see that. I've never seen a quail in person. Looks like a bird, but it but it doesn't fly. Yeah. No, no fly, no wings. I think it's a uh, type of. That's a what? Can it fly? Uh, it can fly. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Wow. Interesting. So, what is the name in Thai? Uh, this type of 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 the. Yeah. Suka alea. Suka raju. Ah. Suka raju. Are you buying a pet? No, just looking. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Salam <laughs> alaikum, brother. Salamat hari raya. Interesting. Random pet store in the middle of uh, this town. So I think because it's uh, recently Eid or Hari Raya, everybody's out shopping for their family. Oh, 
Look at this. You can shoot and try to hit the target. Twenty baht? Yes. For five shot? Yes. Okay, let me try. I'm gonna try to shoot. Let's see if I can do this. Hold on, I put my camera here. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to shoot this gun. Can you see me? Okay, cool. This way? Yes. Okay. Don't go right there, man. Okay, let's go. Anyone? Anyone. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's okay, see. let it go. Let's go. Hey, I got one. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but I, I just hit it. Again. So you get five shots for 20 baht. That's like 80 cents. It's much cheaper than the fares back home. Do I win anything? Yes. What do I win? Win. Orange juice. Orange juice? Yes. Only orange juice? Oh, this is not a fun prize. 20 baht. Huh? 20 baht. No. Okay. One more? No, it's okay. Okay. You have change? Yes. Yeah. No, no need. Anybody want some orange juice? You want orange juice? Here, for you. For you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, kaponka. Ka. Oh, no need, no need, no need. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, very interesting. Oh wow, they got more guns. More guns. This is like a real gun. Hello. One shoot. Twenty baht. One shoot. But that one five shoot. Okay. One hundred. One hundred baht. I do one shoot. Okay? Wait, it's, it's okay? Shoot like. Just shoot? Here we go. Oh. Ah. Sure. Ah. This one. 50, 15 shot. 15 shot. Huh? 15 shot. For how much? No. One mag, one mag, 15 shot. Oh, 20 baht. 20 baht. 20 baht. Oh, you get 15 shots. Okay, yes. all right, ready? We're gonna one hand it, one hand it. Oh yeah, almost. How do I look with the gun? <laughs> all right, almost. I've been on target. I haven't hit the star yet. Oh yeah, got it. Ah, finished. <laughs> yeah, look, mostly inside, huh? Good. That's good, huh? Yeah, not bad. Uh, 20 baht, huh? 20 baht. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Kapun ka. ah. Thank you. Guys, look at how much I'm sweating. It's so hot. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> More guns. <laughs> So many guns. All right, amazing. You don't want to mess with this guy. Look at that, he's right on target every time. The bad man. 
the bad man. <laughs> uh, bullseye. So guys, over here there's a lady selling 100% cotton t-shirts made in Thailand and they actually look really good quality. Um, I might have to try one on because my current shirt, look at the state of my current shirt. This is no way to be walking around like this. I look like a buffoon. This one you have uh, XL? XL. Yeah, XL. XL. 180 baht for XL. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's like five bucks. Actually, these t-shirts look really good. Maybe, maybe they'll be good. Oh, actually, you have a black, black okay. XL? Yeah, okay. let me try the black XL. Keep it old school. This is the color I'm currently wearing and it's gone. Oh, XL, very big. Maybe, maybe L. <laughs> I didn't know this is so big. Maybe L will be all right. Oh, this is XXL. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me try this on and see. Can I try? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's XXL. XXL. Big? Maybe. I try. I try. XL <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, okay. 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 Very good. Okay. I try. I try. I try. Uh, try here? 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 Huh? Okay, okay. All right, there you go, guys. Now I'm not sweating like a pig. Uh, I'm just gonna put my other shirt in the bag because it's too wet. Okay, cap on cap. Seven, uh, eight, nine, no, eight fifty. Yep. So one fifty for the t-shirt, which is like less than five dollars. Cap on cap. Thank you so much. All right. Oh man, guys, if you know me, you know I'm a sucker for sweets and these donuts look absolutely amazing oh. I shouldn't only 10 baht for one you know what I have to do it I have to do it uh, donut one 10 baht 10 baht okay can I have uh, one one oh okay uh, I'm just gonna get hello hello you want donut you want? Yes. Yes? Okay, you have one. Let's buy these kids some donuts. For them, also. Yeah. One, one, one. One, one, one. Okay, you take one. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. One, one, one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, Hasib, give the. Ame, ya we saw again. You take which one you like? This one? <laughs> Me, I like this one. Us? This one. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Dude. Oh, you're getting the banana bread or something. Very nice. And only 10 baht. I can't even calculate that. It's like 30 cents. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no problem. Okay, let's try now. I just bought these kids some donuts because they were looking at me and I felt bad. Garbage. Okay. Salam alaikum. <laughs> they also have these egg tarts. Reminds me of being in uh, Portugal. Ooh, so many goodies here. Look at this. What's this? I have no idea what this is. Uh, no. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow, look at this. Ice cream? Okay. So many things here, man. Oh. 
also another good thing about being here in Narati Wat is everything is halal for the most part because like I said most people here are Muslim but you know what's, what's crazy like anywhere you go in Thailand anywhere I'm talking about you could be in the middle of nowhere which pretty much I am it feels like but still they'll have these festivals with street food and desserts and drinks and all of this stuff it's actually just amazing man like I I'm always I'm always impressed Looks like there's like a little carnival here for the kids also. You can do some painting. That's nice. They put something nice together for the kids for the holidays. It's quite nice. We'll drive some ATVs around. Oh, I wish I was a kid again. Look at this. These kids are in the water boats. It's like bumper boats. You know, it's funny. In these kind of cities, everyone is looking at me while I'm walking around. You can see. Look at the eyes on me. They turn once I turn the camera, but trust me, I can feel them staring through my soul. I'm still trying to make my way to the beach. Unfortunately, uh, it's not, it has not been easy. Thank you. But yeah, would have been much nicer to have a bike. Hey, peace out, bro. Peace out, peace out. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, Hopefully I'll be there soon, before the sun goes down. That's the whole point. I want to watch the sun down at the beach. Let's see if I can get a random dude to take me to the beach. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, go Pantai. I, huh? I give you money. Hasib, Hasib Bat. No? Yeah. Okay, maybe not. He don't want to go. Look at this beautiful masjid, man. The things are made of glass on the top. The shrine and the, the minarets. Looks like everybody's coming back from the beach and I'm going towards it. Yeah, bro. Bro, I need to go to the beach. I need to go to the beach. Who wants to take me? Who wants to take me to the beach? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> they all have... Hello! Hello! Taxi? No! Okay, maybe not. It's impossible to find a taxi. Grab doesn't work here. And I don't know how to get there. And it's about 5 kilometers away, so it would take me like an hour if I walk. I could do it, but it's very hot, man. It's very hot. I'm the guy. He's gonna take me. I'm a god. Thank you, thank you. Money! <laughs> okay, thank you. Narata. Narapa. Hasibat? Okay? Hasib? Hasibat? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give him 50 baht. I can't walk anymore, man. I'm too tired. But look at this traffic. Any Pakistan? Ah, Pakistani. Islam, you? Islam, Muslim. Islam, Muslim. Salam alaikum. You? Muslim? Ah, wa alaikum salam. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Wa alhamdulillah. Ah, salamat hari raya. Yeah, salamat hari raya. Oh, look here. One thing you can see is, oh, you can see a lot of Malaysia, Malaysia, right? Yeah. Malaysian people. A lot of, Mal yeah, a lot of Malaysian license plates because we're very, very close to Malaysia. So you see, Thai license plates. This is a Thai license plate, and then the black one. Oh, no, I'll show you what a Malaysian plate is. Please see one. The black one is a Malaysian plate. But yeah, I'm on my way to the beach. Finally, let's go. I see a lot of signs written in uh, Arabic as well because of the preval prevalence of Muslims here. So it's pretty cool. I can read the sign, but I don't understand it. I can read Arabic, but I don't understand what I'm reading. I know it's an interesting concept. Some of you may not understand, but those who know, know. And the houses, 
and the layout of the land over here it is like really old school but i think we're pulling up to the beach now we're just arriving at the beach there's a lot of traffic today i think it's because of the holidays all right guys we have arrived to the beach so one thing to be aware of here in narati what hello how are you assalamu alaikum nice to meet you Thailand, yeah. Pakistan. Pakistan, ah, yeah, ah, you know. <laughs> Everybody knows Pakistanis. I think they can tell by my nose. But yeah, so this is the nicest beach. Hello. <laughs> this is the nicest beach in um, in Naratiwat. There's a few, but this one is called Naratat. And I was like, wow, there's a lot of people here because, like I said, holiday times. So it's super yeah. busy. You got people selling food outside and everything. I have to do a deeper food tour in Naratiwat, which I'll do tomorrow. This was more of just like an introduction to the city and getting here. But also, I just want to show you guys the beach. It's, a, it's absolutely beautiful. Let's go check it out. Look at the little chickies. Assalamu alaikum. All right, let's get on the beach. Wow, amazing, huh? I wonder if we can get close to the water here. Now the sand isn't the cleanest. Let's just say there's a lot better beaches in Thailand. But it's quite nice. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, there's people flying kites everywhere. You have to be careful. Wow. It's a nice beach though, huh? It's amazing. Any beach in Thailand is pretty nice. That's for sure. And everyone's just hanging out with their families. Let's go to the rock there. Let's, let's see if we can get in the water and see how it feels. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Got caught up in her string. Everybody's flying kites. Hello. Let's see the water. Ooh, it's nice. Feels good on my feet, man. It's been a long, hot day, man. For real. Oh, yeah. What a great way to end it. Sunset by the beach. What else can you ask for? Oh, this is the beach police. Don't mess with them. Right there. Those are the boys in red. And they got guns. Ah, it's just so nice to see everybody just having a good time. That breeze, man, I needed it. it feels great. It's amazing. At the edge of the world here, as you can see. And Narata Beach. The waves crashing behind me, it's quite relaxing. I had a great time, great first day here in Naratiwat. So guys, before I ended the video, I did want to show you, this is the central mosque in Naratiwat. Mashallah, it's very beautiful. You can see, it's a very interesting design. Different than most masjid that I've seen around the world, actually. But I figured this is the biggest masjid in, uh, actually, I don't know if it's the biggest in the south, but it's one of the biggest and it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to go inside and make prayer. But before I go in, I just wanted to end the video. Guys, we have a goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers before, um, before July 2024. So hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you any money. It's free. All you got to do is subscribe, like, comment, share it with your people and we'll get to it. I know I have a strong community of people, but there's a lot of you that watch my videos and you haven't hit the subscribe button. So if you haven't, make sure you do. With that being said, guys, remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. People are looking at me, so I'm getting awkward.